Hello, my name is Genevieve. I'm an occupational therapist. I'm the course director of the Bachelor of Occupational Therapy here at Deakin University. And I'm very, very happy to welcome you to our open day occupational therapy presentation for this year. Um, we're really happy to have you here um, as we go through the Bachelor of Occupational Therapy here at Deakin. We're doing this in a very different format this year. Um, nevertheless, we're thrilled to have you along. We will have, um, we will be hosting a live Q&A session right after this presentation to answer any of the questions that you might have. I have around me quite a few timer. So if I uh, look away from the screen, I mean no disrespect at all, but I really need to have timers around me because when I start talking about occupational therapy, I can talk and talk and talk for a very long time and I need to stick to time. So I do apologize in advance if you see me looking around, it's really about managing time for me. So let's get, let's get this started. Uh, the first, first and foremost, um, I would like to do an acknowledgement of country. As we gather for this meeting physically dispersed and virtually constructed, let us take a moment to reflect on the meaning of place. And doing so, recognize the various traditional lands on which we do our business today. We acknowledge the elders, past, present and emerging of all the land we work and live on and their ancestral spirits with gratitude and respect. So what are we going to talk about in this presentation? Well, first, we're going to talk about what is occupational therapy? What do occupational therapists do? So what do we do in our daily lives as, as OTs? We'll talk about the facilities or the teaching spaces that we have here at Deakin. We'll talk about your student experience, the academic staff that you will be working with, your lecturers. We will talk about placements because this is a big part of the course here at Deakin University, placement or practice education. We'll talk about the course entry requirements, the course structure where you're going to see what we'll be do, you will be doing in the different year of the course. And we'll talk about different pathways and the graduate outcomes and employability, which is something that potential OT students are always interested to hear about. So let's start at the beginning. What is occupational therapy? If we were doing this on a face-to-face -face basis, I would ask you to tell me what you know about occupational therapy and what you've heard. Maybe you know things already. Maybe you know OTs. Maybe you know someone who has seen an occupational therapist. So in this virtual format, I'll, I'll focus on certain things that make occupational therapy different. The first thing for us is the concept of occupation. What is occupation for an occupational therapist? So for us, it is far more than the jobs that we're doing. When we hear occupation, we think jobs or employment. It is part of that, but in the head of an occupational therapist, it is much broader than that. Occupation is absolutely everything that makes up a human's life. It's the, the things that are most important, that are most meaningful to you or to your client. So for us, occupation is absolutely everything that we do in our day, from the very moment you wake up in the morning until the moment you go to bed at night. Every single thing that you do in that period of time, for us as OTs, is an occupation. It is broad, and you'll see that sometimes some of these occupations we take for granted. For example, um, it could be being able to get out of bed this morning on your own at the time that you wanted to get out of bed in the way that you wanted to get out of bed. We don't necessarily think about these things, but it, it is part of what we call occupation. So we have the very simple things, getting out of bed to the more complex things like studying a Bachelor of Occupational Therapy or working or socializing with friends. So for us, occupation is really, really broad. So I'm gonna ask you to try something thinking about occupation. So what I'm gonna ask you is to take a little bit of time to think really hard about two things that are really, really important to you. Things that really have meaning and that you love doing. Two things. So let's think about that. Try and think about two things 
that are very, very, very important to you. For some people, it could be um, sharing a meal with your family. It could be going to work. It could be playing basketball or footy, or it could be dancing, it could be arts, it could be music, it could be um, running, it could be um, engaging or, or chatting with your colleagues at work or accomplishing something. They're things that really give meaning to your life. Now I'm gonna ask you something else. How would you feel if I told you that from now, you will not be able to do this thing again. That's it, you're done, you're not doing that. Or how would it feel if I said, you may be able to do these things or occupations that are really meaningful to you and important to you, but only when I'm there to help you and only when I can support you in, in a way that I can actually help you out. The feelings that we would have to be deprived of meaningful occupations, what we hear is often anger. People get angry, they don't understand why, they get really sad, they get really upset because they miss on these things that are really important to them. They miss out on that. Those feelings are what the clients of occupational therapists go through all the time. So as an occupational therapist, that's where you come in. You will add deacon, you will learn the skills and the strategies and the interventions to help people go back to these occupations, activities or occupations that are really meaningful and really important to them. That's what you're gonna learn and that's how you're gonna have an impact on your client's life. What do we do as OTs? We integrate a lot of different types of knowledge to actually get people back to engaging and participating in these meaningful occupations. So um, we learn about the body and how the body works, um, how we move. We learn about strength and range of motion and really understand the physical health of, of human beings, of, of people. We also learn about the mental health, the emotions that we have and how mental health impact our physical health and how our physical health impact our mental health. So we learn about different mental illnesses and, and challenges that people might face in different environments or different contexts. We learn about the brain and how our brain works and how our brain influences our movement and our body and our physical body and our, our mental health and our emotional health. We learn how our brain works to problem solve and, and strategize and understand meaning of different things. And we also learn a lot about the environment because for an occupational therapist, occupation happens in an environment that is meaningful to you or to your client. You will learn about all of these different things as a Deacon OT student. student. You will learn to bring these things together because you will have to understand the impact of the environment on our brain, on our emotions, on our body and how we move and the relationship between physical health and mental health in an environment that has opportunities, but also sometimes has constraints. You will learn all of that, integrate that together. And then as an occupational therapist, you will be able to assess your client's strengths identify some of their limitations and challenges and come up with interventions and strategies to make sure that people can go back to engaging and participating in all those meaningful occupations that make up their life. Who do we work with? Everybody, simple. We work with people of all ages. We, like, we work across the lifespan. So you can work with very young children like babies and, and work with across the lifespan as they grow up and become toddlers and, and children and adolescents and young adults and older adults until they're very old. You are trained as an occupational therapist, a deacon of the occupational therapist to work across the lifespan with people of all walks of life that are gonna present different conditions, trauma, disability, illnesses, developmental delay, um, issues related to aging, issues related to environmental barriers and things that need to change in the environment. But when you finish your degree at Deakin, you'll be ready to work with all these people in, in all these different contexts. Where can we work as OTs? 
I feel like saying we can work everywhere. Um, we work in hospitals. OTs work in hospitals and outpatient services. So in hospitals, often you're going to have more acute cases um, where the time frame is quite different and your interventions are going to be different. If you work in an outpatient service, you're going to have a little bit more time to develop a relationship with your clients and develop intervention plans. But you will find OTs working in hospitals, health patient services. A lot of us work within the community because from an occupational therapy perspective or an OT in our head, in our occupational head, it's important to work in an environment that is meaningful to our clients. So we work a lot in the community. Community resources with, again, a variety of clients. OTs work in schools. A lot of OT work um, work in schools. We work with children in schools. We understand the value of play in, in development and how play can um, play a role in the development of, of children throughout um, kinder, um, prep and, and throughout schools. Then you're going to have a lot of OTs working in school in different school environments and different levels, year levels in schools as well. OTs work in the government, different government departments. A lot of OTs work in private practice, have their own business and work in private practice as well. Um, with the NDIS, uh, the National Disability Insurance Scheme, and now the National Disability Insurance Agency, a lot of occupational therapists now work in private practice individually or as a group of OTs, but we see a, a significant increase in private practice around NDIA, um, TAC. Transport Accident Commission, Work Cover, a lot of OTs work in work, what we call work rehab, where um, our clients have had work-related accident and have to go back to work, and they want to go back to work. And again, that's where we, we blend our knowledge really well about the physical impact of that accident, that work-related accident, but also the emotional impact of having lost your employment or um, not being able to do your job the way that you were used to doing it. So we understand the physical impact and the emotional impact as well. And a lot of OTs work like myself and like the lecturers that you're going to meet here at Deakin. A lot of us work in education and research as well. So why would you choose Deakin? Well, let me tell you why you should choose Deakin. Um, I guess what I should say first before I, I talk to you about the reasons why I think you should choose Deakin is that the Bachelor of OT is offered, uh, it's a four year undergrad degree with an honours year at the end of your degree and it is offered at Deakin in Geelong at the Waterfront campus. So now for the reasons why you should work, or well, not work, but study at Deakin. So for the last 10 years, we've had the highest level of student satisfaction amongst Victorian universities. We're quite proud of that, I have to say. So that's a good reason why you want to study OT at Deakin. Another reason why you definitely want to study OT at Deakin is the state of the arts facilities, our brand new space that we have. Um, state of the art that is about providing you with an experience that is as close as possible to a real world experience. We have simulated learning spaces that are completely new using the, the newest and groundbreaking technology that we can find. We have a very nice blend of assistive technology and smart technology. So we really are um, progressing with the world in terms of using smart technology to make it easier for our clients to engage in these meaningful occupations that I was talking about earlier. So learning in this space from um, hands-on occupational therapy specific component is really great and also from a teaching and learning perspective. We have fantastic facilities in terms of teaching and learning that are going to make your learning experience here at Deacon OT much, much um, more interesting. Other reason why you want to study OT at Deakin um, are award-winning online learning resources. We are quite proud of that one, I have to say. Um, at OT at Deakin, we've been pioneers in what we call simulated learning and simulated education around occupational therapy. We offer simulated placements. We have developed this award-winning online resources as well. Um, with uh, very creative ways for you to understand occupational therapy practice, uh, case studies and interaction, interactive online activities as well that we use throughout the bachelor, throughout your four years. You're going to use that online um, resource. And what makes it um, 
even more exciting is that this resource, ha resource has won um, national awards for its quality. And also other occupational therapy courses are buying this resource that we developed here at Deakin OT. So that's another reason why you want to come and study OT with us. Um, in terms of the, the experience that you have, there's something called a student experience survey, which is sent to our students every year. And it gives us information about um, how we are performing and it gives us information about the things that we perhaps need to improve. And what we know from the most recent student experience survey is that Deacon OT has scored above the national average in the overall quality of educational experience, teaching practices, learning resources and facilities and support services. That's why you want to come to do um, Deacon OT, the OT at Deacon Uni. More results of the graduates from a graduate perspective, what our students are telling us, again, we're scoring above the national average and you have results here in terms of overall satisfaction. We've got 90, almost 93%. In terms of skills improvement, again, almost 93%. Teaching practices, 83.1%. All of these results above the national average. Again, other reasons why you want to study OT at Deakin. Um, other things that you have um, that you're going to be able to engage in whilst you're at Deakin, there are different resources or different um, associations available to you. You have the Deakin University Student Association and then you have the Deakin OT Student Association that is all about OT, providing you with opportunities to network, uh, meet other occupational therapists in the Geelong area, but greater Geelong and Melbourne and, and across the state as well. You have mentoring programs, student run past programs. You have international study tours and exchanges opportunity, which is great. We have a few really good relationships um, in Denmark and um, a few uh, really good partners in India as well. So we have an interesting um, and growing international um, portfolio to our, our course as well. You're going to become an OT Australia student member. So Occupational Therapy Australia is our association that gives you access again to networking, to webinars, to a lot of different learning and professional development activities. And I think the networking is also really a great opportunity to actually understand even better what occupational therapy is. And then you have social experiences, sports and cultural experience here um, at Deakin. Another reason why you want to study OT at Deakin is the experienced academic staff. We are a great team and I know I probably sound that I'm, I'm, I'm biased and I am biased. Um, we, we really have a great team at Deakin and what makes us stand out is the time that we take to get to know you. Get to know you throughout your four years, get to know you um, to make sure that we provide you with the best learning experience. As a group, we have a variety of clinical expertise. All of us has, have worked as OTs, as clinicians, for several years before moving into academia. Some of your lecturers still work as clinicians. We have uh, people with international expertise in mental health, in play therapy, hand therapy, the use of technology and universal design and many more areas. Um, you have OTs who have been trained overseas, so bring an international perspective to OT at Deakin, like myself, uh, Kiva Richards also, and Kirk Reid, who, who is from New Zealand. So you have a variety of clinicians. As OTs, you always work part of a team. So we decided to embrace that here at Deakin OT. And we have a physiotherapist who is part of our team and really involved in the team and really shows the value of uh, multidisciplinarity or interdisciplinarity as um, a healthcare team. So we are actually demonstrating that in the way that we teach as well. It's another reason why you want to come and study OT at Deakin. Real world experience, the placement. You're gonna start placement first trimester, first year. You start your degree at Deakin and you have eight different placement or practice education opportunities throughout the course. You will have more than the thousand hours minimum requirement that we have. So we are an accredited uh, course by the World Federation of Occupational Therapists. Some of the requirements to be accredited is to have at least a thousand hours. You want to come to Deakin because we're going to give you more, more than the thousand hours. That's another reason why you want to come to Deakin. Um, 
as I said, you have more practice education opportunities and you will start literally trimester one, first year, you start placement and you're going to have placement throughout your four years until the last trimester of your last year. You will have placement throughout. Placement is going to increase in complexity as you progress and you learn more and more about occupational therapy. You also have uh, the opportunity to influence occupational therapy by doing your own research. If you um, become part of the honours year, which is the fourth year of the degree, you're going to lead a research project, something that you're interested in, something that inspires you that is meaningful to you and that has the possibility to change occupational practice occupational therapy practice and occupational therapy education how cool is that um, you can have you say in the way that you're assessed and the content that you're taught we work collaboratively with students when we develop the content of our different units and you will become a lifelong learner um, you would be ready to, uh, to come into the workforce as a competent occupational therapist. And I just want to make a point about this lifelong learner. This is something that makes DIC and OT stand out from other occupational therapy courses. We're not going to teach you recipes at Deacon. And I know that sometimes students get a bit, um, I'm going to say, annoyed because you want to have the answers to your questions right away. We know the answers to your questions, but we want you to think for yourself and be able to use your, build your skills in terms of clinical reasoning and reflective practice and be a curious, interested occupational therapy student and occupational therapist. We want you to become a lifelong learner. We'll give you, we'll support you in, in, in achieving what you need to achieve to get answers to your questions. And we will give you answers at times, but you will learn to think for yourself. And that's what makes Deakin graduates so exciting. And that's what we hear from our employers, from the industry. They want Deakin graduate because you are going to be a lifelong learner. You are going to be someone who can think for themselves and problem solve in a very creative way. And that's something that makes us stand out at Deakin. And I think that's another reason why you want to do OT at Deakin. You have the course entry requirement. I'm looking at the time. I'm going to have to go quicker on this. Um, specific prerequisites for school leavers, VC unit three and four, a study score of at least 30 in English or 25 if it's other than EAL. For non-school leavers, there's a few other things that you can see on the slide here. Senior secondary certificate or a cert four in a certain discipline, a diploma, um, successful completion of relevant study. Um, evidence of academic capability, judgment, uh, including foundation program approved, <clears throat> pardon me, um, by faculty board or different things like that. So I would invite you to look at this information. The ATAR for 2020 was 70. We never know what the ATAR is from one year to the next. As I said before, it's a four year undergrad degree with an honours year. So I would invite you to look at the prerequisites a bit more um, in, in detail here. And you can speak to our expert on the live chat throughout the day as well, if you have questions about that. The core structure. So what you see in, in a hot pink is the placements. Placements are embedded in different units that you're gonna do across the course, right from trimester one, first year. Um, in first year, you have the more um, health-based type of unit, but, Right from the first year, you have an OT specific core unit. So you're going to learn about OT right from the first trimester, first year, which also is a reason why you want to come to Deakin. Um, in second year, that's when you start learning more about the specificity of occupational therapy. And in second year, you also have your simulated placement, which is something that Deakin has been at the, for at, at the forefront of in developing high quality simulated placement to provide you with a consistent and comparable um, experience in terms of placement. So when you go on placement in third year with, in the real world, you're ready. Everybody has learned the same thing. Everybody has the same strong basis that makes you even more ready to go on placement. So that happens in your second year. Third year, we are starting to embed longer placement block up to eight weeks where you're going to be away in the field uh, working with clients and occupational therapists in different areas with the support of DIC and staff as well. So we're not sending you there on your own, but we're sending you with support um, that you can see here throughout the third and fourth year. Um, at the bottom of, of the, the slide here, you have the honours fourth year and you can see that there's a 
a unit called Honors Research Projects with two little um, hot pink dots. I've added the, these dots because there's also placement hours included in there. So you have your past train and the honors train. Some units are common to both. And then in honors, you have a different way of doing placements and embedding placement hours whilst you're doing your research project and, and changing OT practice, which is different to um, the past stream where there's a project placement in the last trimester of your last year. So that gives you a bit of an overview of what you'll be doing with us for the four years that you'll be here. Different pathways, you can transfer from um, a different course if you're not sure about your ATAR. Bachelor of Health Science is a great uh, pathway through occupational therapy. Um, there's um, a few things around single units that you could undertake. And then as, as it says here, I would recommend that you speak with a student advisor to, to discuss the requirements for this specific pathway. Um, and you have uh, specific units here that may um, make it easier for you or enable you to get into the, the Bachelor of OT. And you have a list here, human structure and function, understanding health, communication and diversity, functional human anatomy, psychology, AOB, health behavior and integrated human physiology. So talk to someone, a student advisor, to have more specific information here. And um, our partners are also great stepping stone to study at Deakin. So I would also recommend visit the pathway finders to discover which diplomas will be um, suitable, a suitable pathway to get to the Bachelor of OT here at Deakin. Graduate outcomes. This is interesting. It's about finding job. OT is the fast, one of the fastest growing professions in Australia. It has grown over 130% in the past 10 years. Projected employment growth to, until 2024 is forecasted to increase by 22.4%. You will find a job after you finish your degree at Deakin. And you have here 96.6% of Deakin OT graduates were employed within four months of completing their degree. I think that's another reason why you want to come to Deakin. The students who are not in there that are missing for us to get 100%, our students who prefer to take a, um, a gap year or, or leave and travel, students who decided to start a family or study um, or do higher studies like masters or PhD. But look at this, 96.6% are employed within four months. Other reason why you want to come to Deakin. We really pride ourselves um, on certain things. You will be graduate ready. You will have completed well over the 100% minimum um, practice hour education. You will be critical thinkers, lifelong learners. You will be driven to um, be creative problem solvers and innovators. And this point, this point here I just mentioned, this is what our employers are telling us. That's why they want you. That's why they want Deakin OT students to work for them. You will have learned to work collaboratively and inclusively with others and you will be sought after in the industry and you will be qualified and competent occupational therapists. That is it for me. I'm almost running out of time. I want to thank all of you for being here. It's great to see so much interest in our Bachelor of OT. There's a live Q&A session that's just about to start. If you had to head off to another presentation, that's fine. Make sure that you visit the virtual open day website and get on the live chat as well. You'll have additional information. You will be able to speak with experts in the live chat throughout the day, um, but stick around for the live Q&A session. And I really, really am looking forward to seeing you face to face in 2021 at Deacon OT. Thank you very much, everyone.